Okay, this is going to be a quick, uh, hopefully one take, two take at most, uh, discussion of how to hook an OpenROV 2.8 to an external servo and control it. I want you to know that this is an incredibly easy thing to do. And I held off on getting an OpenROV for a long time because the instructions, modification of circuit board and things like that, that was all true for 2.7 and prior, but 2.8, everything's pre-wired, it's very, very simple. So what you're gonna do, you take the mess of wires that you would put into your port uh, end caps and you pull out three wires. If you look in the Dazuki at uh, guide four and step 90, it says the white wires with the stripes are the ones for the servo channel. But it's really not bad because we have a white with black, we have a white with red, and we have a white with yellow which go to the black, the red, and the yellow, respectively. So in simplest form, you would simply strip these and solder them in place. I went a little more complicated. I wanted to be able to interchange payloads without having to take the servo in and out of the payload itself. So put a three-wire connector here. We also have a two-wire connector for the tether, but I put a three-wire under waterproof LED connector on the back that's enough to hook it up. Here is a three-wire connector and you can see it's yellow to yellow, red to red. Straightforward, it's not complicated. Okay, so here we're set up. We have a Niskin bottle, a miniaturized version of a water sampling bottle, a Niskin bottle. And you'll see that to control the servo, all you need to do is use Alt-Q and Alt-Z. So Alt-Z will move it in one direction and Alt-Q will move it the opposite. And if I continue pressing Alt-Q, it should trip the Niskin bottle. And that's how you take a water sample.